Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 7th of 2021, well, it is titled a bright nova in Cassiopeia. So what do we see here? Well, we see a number of objects in the direction of Cassiopeia in the northern sky. Cassiopeia for most northern latitudes is one of what we call the circumpolar constellations, meaning that it is always above the horizon. And that's because it is close enough to the north celestial pole that the path that it follows never causes it to dip below the horizon. Now within that constellation a new star or nova has appeared and that is known as Nova Cast 2021 or also known as V1405 Cast. And a nova is an example of a new star. Now this is not a new star that has formed, but a new star that appears in the sky. And in this case got bright enough to be visible to the naked eye for a while. And now still now you need binoculars to be able to see it. But these were something that was studied long ago as objects that were unusual because they represented a change in the heavens. So a new star appearing in the heavens was a sign of something important happening. Now we now know that a nova is generally occurs when a white dwarf star, which is a compact remnant of a star like our sun at the end of its life, orbits along with another star, an ordinary star, and gathers matter from it. So if the two stars are close enough together, matter can transfer from the ordinary star to the white dwarf star. Now the white dwarf star is incredibly dense uh, and, co and compact, so it builds up hydrogen on its surface and once it builds up a sufficient quantity it will start burning that hydrogen and that's what we're seeing here that is the burning of that hydrogen on the surface of the star causing a massive increase in brightness now we also we see uh, a star like our sun does hydrogen burning but it's not the surface that is doing this it's well down below so down in the core and not a part of the sun that we can ever see the rest of the sun including the surface that we see is not producing energy but is just transporting energy from the interior to the outside here we're seeing the direct production of uh, of energy right on the surface of the star and that's why it will become bright for a short period of time. Now a nova can also recur again because it does not destroy the white dwarf star itself. It still remains and can collect more material and have another outburst. Although it can take decades or even centuries to build up enough material on the surface of that white dwarf star to have another outburst. So astronomers will continue to study the star and look at it and see if they can follow the patterns and little learn a little bit more about these novae. So that was our picture of the day for June the 7th of 2021. It was titled a bright nova in Cassiopeia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Jupiter happy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.